7 Tips on How to Turn Your Ideas into Money Every single thing that exists had a starting point, an idea you may see zillionaries that are making more money that they could ever spend in hundreds of generations to come, and although they may have inherited their money, if you take a snap look at the richest people in the world today, they made their fortunes on their own, that should give you a push, right? Your ideas are the central ground from where a great business could start. Maybe you are looking for the money, maybe you are looking for the self-realization that comes from taking your dreams and projects to action. Either way, here are some tips on how to create innovative ideas that could pay off for you. 1. Pick one idea or area that you are passionate about. If you don't like what you are doing, you are not going to make a dime out of it. Do what you like and feel passion for and money will come. Many billionaires often claim they are making money out of things they would have done anyway regardless of being paid or not. This might not be your case, I know. Point 2. Make exhaustive market research. Yes, of course before you start something you have to know the market in all details. Find about the product or service you would like to create. Join online forums, read articles, check prices in the market. If you like to online research, Google would give you a vast idea on how big a market may be while eBay and Amazon will give you an idea on how profitable the market may be. Point 3. After you have done a research you are happy with, then put your brain to work. Don't rush into any conclusion nor get stressed on thinking of a perfect one dot but wait. Do not discard any idea that could come up front. Why? Because once you give your brain the work of start thinking and being creative, it's not good to cut the chase by saying to yourself such idea could not work. Write them down, and trust yourself, trust your inner self to guide you on which idea could be the blast you are looking for. Trust that little voice that never fails and that is always telling us what to do regardless of the appearances. Let your powerful subconscious mind work for you. Take some rest and ask for inspiration and guidance. Point 4. Tweak your ideas until you are fully satisfied. Combine them until you are happy with the result. If needed, do some extra research to find out whether that new combined product or service may have a market or followers. Point 5. Take action. Yes, definitely you have to take action. Remembering the secret, the word attraction is mentioned many times. But guess what? The word attraction has the word action embedded, so that means that in order for you to attract what you want, you need to take action. There's no such thing as perfect ends so don't get disappointed, frustrated, the road itself may be as exciting and challenging as the end itself. 6. Be flexible and practical. You may have to turn roads once in a while, to get things in the right direction. But you have to be flexible with yourself. I have always thought of something, if suddenly your business idea ticks and results come fast, it means your idea is good enough to keep rolling. Yet some ideas may take some extra time to develop, if you are on the right path things may look and develop easier for you. Point 7. Be persistent. Persistence and resistance were two odd twin sisters. Persistence was positive while resistance was negative. Everything persistence ever said or wanted to do, Resistance would always turn pessimistic and found it impossible and hard to achieve. They also had a little sister, called insistence, but this one leans towards persistence. But at the end, persistence won resistance. If you persevere on something you want to achieve, then you would attract more of what it takes to get that to an end, meaning, you would get the results you want. One thing I have realized through many years is how you could see your idea turn into reality by another person or company if you don't take action. In other words, you have to capitalize your ideas and projects. You don't want frustration to come abroad by realizing someone has done it before you. You have read me mention things that belong quite much to the mind realms. It's simply because we are talking about ideas. Once you decide to take them into projects or businesses, you need to combine mind power with willpower to take things to action. But if you persist, you will succeed. And once you do that you will become a better self and will be able to come along with more and more productive ideas and projects in your life. Once you come across all that, I hope you remember these words read in this article, you can do it, 
I have combined other tips and ideas regarding what it takes to build your ideas into projects in my blog. I would really appreciate if you could leave any comments in my blog regarding this article.